I had a couple of uh, small Risk Five, tiny little cheap computers laying around. Uh, these things are from a company named Milk Five, and oh, sorry, yeah, Milk Five, and they the the one that I have is a Duo, and that has sixty four megs of RAM. And the other one I have is a Duo two fifty six, which, as you might expect, has two hundred fifty six megs of RAM. Um, and I noticed that a guy named Nick Cow had done the hard work of making NixOS run on the original Duo, the 64 meg version. Um, so I wanted to both see if I could use what he did on my on my original Duo, and then there wasn't anything for the 256 version, so I decided maybe I'd try to make that work by adapting Nick's, Nick's stuff. I uh, gotta, gotta admit, neither of these things is particularly useful. Uh, the Duo has only 64 megs of RAM, so it's not once once you get an XOS running on it, you have like a couple megs left <laughs> to do anything. Um, the two fifty six is more useful, but once it gets running, it's you have something like one hundred fifty megs free or something like that, which is plenty. You know, that's that's a lot of Commodore sixty fours. By the way, uh, this talkie script on the left hand side entitled NixOS seventy one will be available in a link in the description. Um, and I'm going to try to demo some stuff on here. I'm not sure just reading it by itself is going to really do you much good. So, so what I had to do to get the original duo working, uh, was to solder some headers onto the pins of the, of the duo shown here. This is, I think this is a duo 256 that they're showing here, but the pins are the same for the 256 and the duo. So there's some headers on here. This is like ground, gra ground, transmit and receive, something like that. You'll get it. Once I, you know, the reason you have to do this is because the image, the NixOS image doesn't have any networking. Uh, the, the one that comes from Milk 5, uh, it's like, I think it's based on Ubuntu. I might be wrong about that, but it's like a build root based thing. Uh, and it does, it, le it lets you talk to the thing over, over SSH, but the NixOS image doesn't. Um, so I had, a, I had one of these nifty USB to UART adapter th things here. Uh, this is the one I actually bought and it works fine. Um, and once you hook up, hook that up to the pins on the duo and plug in your, you know, the other side of the USB on your thing, you'll, you wind up with a dev tty usb zero port or something like that, that you can use with minicom or some other terminal program to talk to the duo or see it boot once i had those you know sort of the hardware sorted out i cloned nix nix repository over here the, the instructions here i think are just for the the, the vision 5 he all, this 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 repository also supports a vision 5 2 board single board computer but it also supports the, the, the Milk 5 Duo. And hopefully, if uh, I sent a pull request in for the 256, hopefully that'll get merged soon. I cloned that repository. I ran this. So I go over here. X build. Hydro jobs. Duo. Something like that. And this is going to take not much time at all, hardly any time, I suspect, uh, because I've already downloaded and compiled all the requirements. This the machine that I'm running this this demo on is a is a, a AMD sixty four machine. It's it is not a Risk five machine. But the nice thing about NixOS is it, is it lets you cross compile stuff very very easily, um, and it just goes and downloads all the stuff you need and compiles it such that it will run on. Risk five, which is kind of incredible. Once that's done, uh, there is a result directory as a result of running, um, as a result of running that next build thing there. And inside of uh, result is SD image, SD image, and there is a file here that is compressed with a Z standard. Um, compression algorithm. So we have to, uh, I, I had to do this for some reason. Uh, I had to use sudo to copy it in here. Don't ask me why. You'll, you'll, you'll see when you try it yourself. 
Um, but then I would uh, see standard that to to decompress it, write it, and then and then we have that. You can fire up Elena. Elena Etcher. And we can flash from a file. So I'm not going to do that right now. I've already done that. I've already flashed the file. Uh, but once you do that, you just take it out. You stick it in your in your Duo. You plug it into your UART adapter, and then you you have to you have have to also plug the USB in for power. And once you do that, if yours is working, you'll see Dev ATY. Oops, ATY USB zero something like that. It'll, it'll appear once you plug it in. Um, and we can use Minicom. Oh, it's booting already. Right, I'm going to just start it over again. You have to unplug both of the UART and the USB thing in order for it to reboot because it gets some phantom power from the, <laughs> from the UART adapter. And it doesn't doesn't want to want to shut itself off properly if you don't come on you can do it there we go okay so we see it it's booting and nick has tried to you know save as much ram as possible nick so is a bit of a i mean as far as embedded stuff not not as far as anything else goes but as far as embedded stuff a little memory hungry uh because it wants to use system D and, and other stuff. Uh, but we can see now, if I do free dash def, you know, uh, it says that 33 megs is free, but Nick has done a lot of the work in the configuration to, to try to use compress, compressed RAM swap ZRAM, um, in order to, to give you a little more headroom. Uh, so it might be useful. I mean, you know, Got a meg free. <laughs> yeah, you, you're you not going to be able to do much useful work on this thing unless you're programming a somewhere, in, in which case, why you run on Linux. But anyway, it's just a neat thing. It's just, you know, it's like a $5 computer that runs Linux. Pretty cool, right? I wanted to get, I have this this other one that has 256 megs of RAM, but it's a slightly different board. It uses a different chipset. So what I had to do was uh, I had to fork Nick's repository. Yeah, I copied his duo stuff and then I had to do a little faffing with this extra config. This is all Linux configuration flags and somewhere here. And then basically, uh, that was kind of about it. I had, I flailed, but, oh, right. Yeah. It, I, what I had to do was I had to run the approved mechanism to, to actually build the build root SDK image first in order to get a couple files that there's no other way to get other than to, other than the build it, build the, uh, the milk five duo build root stuff. The only way you can do that is on Ubuntu. Well, not the only way, but the, the approved way to do it is on Ubuntu. So I had to do that in order to get some pre-build files. And basically I had to, I had to run that, run the, uh, run the build root thing. I had to follow the instructions in this readme. I checked out that repository, uh, which is from milk five themselves. And, you know, you have to just, just, just follow this, these instructions. And then I sort of, sort of ground, scrounged around for things that were, uh, once it built things that were like DT, DTB files and DTS files and other stuff in here and wound up finding the right, you know, finding the right thing. I, I, I scratched around and found a couple files. You don't care. Why am I telling you this? And put them in that pre-built directory. Once I did that, I sort of just, just filed off the serial numbers from Nick's stuff and referred to those files instead of the pre-built files that he had, he had built and then I, you know, did, did a little bit of hacking to the flake.nix in order to have an entry point to run this file. 
And now I can do next build. I should always do a 256 like so. And we do exactly the same thing. Go in the blue nester. Oh, we cop we copy it. Pseudo copy. <laughs> Pseudo copy. Uh, after here. Blah, 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 blah. The standard blah, blah, blah. yes and then use blaine etcher to put it on our put it on our usb on our on our sd card okay, so it's more or less exactly like the other one just has more memory so we have 125 megs for your 75 megs for your how, however you count that uh this is actually maybe useful for something anyway i just thought it was interesting uh uh thanks for watching